Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special project on the go. Today we're going to be installing a front bumper on my 2021 Chevy Colorado that you see back there. Uh, now when I was uh, looking for a front bumper for this truck, it was kind of tricky. Being a 2021, there wasn't a whole lot of options available for that truck. So what I, en what I ended up doing is uh, going and buying a bumper for the uh, previous uh, front end. Uh, so for trucks from 2017 and to 2020 and what I got here is a, a CBI full bumper again it's for the 2017 to 2020 Colorado Setter 2 uh, so what I'm gonna do to make this bumper work on the truck I'm gonna have to retrofit it a little bit uh, to do that I'm gonna have to replace the front grille as well as the uh, filler piece that goes underneath the headlight this one right here um, along with the bumper, I'm going to be installing a Smithville 10,000 pound synthetic line winch. I ran these winches a lot of times before and uh, never had any issues with them. So uh, I chose to buy the same brand again. Uh, as well, I have a full set of skid plates also from CBI. They are a quarter of an inch thick aluminum they are just powder coated black and they are a full set front to back so pretty excited to see how this is going to turn out uh, hopefully it's going to give me all the protection i need underneath the truck besides that i have a uh, steel dry shaft i don't have it here yet but uh, it's on the way so that's pretty much going to be it underneath the truck i think and uh, here's the bumper I kind of like already started to take a look uh, at the uh, stock bumper how to take it apart and uh, that's what I'm gonna get busy myself doing right now so stick around let's see how it goes hopefully it's gonna turn out really good finally got it off it wasn't too bad actually all you gotta do is take like a gazillion Torx uh, screws all over the bottom and uh, there's like three or four seven mil screws in here that you gotta take and, uh, and that's it there's this clip here you gotta pop and there's 10 mil uh, two screws 10 mil right here other than that she came right out okay now next step is uh, to take this bar off get two bolts here one here and one here same thing on the other side and I believe this plastic piece has to come off too. So let's do that and uh, we'll probably test fit the bumper.
So here it is, finally got to uh, test fit it. Um, I had to remove the tow hooks. They were on the way of the bumper. I, I don't think I'll be able to put them back on. So that's kind of like a bummer. But I guess I'll have these now. They will be my new tow hooks. Um, the other kind of concern I have is that looks like i don't have enough room for the winch right now this plastic piece might be on the way i'm gonna have to figure out if i can remove these i mean the only thing that this is doing is holding this so i will have to relocate the sensor all right guys so i've been playing around with this for a while there was a little uh frame piece here made out of plastic that has to come off and then the grill will mount to these brackets over here I think and uh, also there was another plastic piece down here that how that one had to come off as well and uh, yeah other than that here's the uh, headlight pillar piece obviously they're not painted yet so I still have to get those to the uh, body shop so this is the plan I have the uh, grill kind of like mounted now since to fit just fine I was kind of concerned that maybe like the newer Colorado's didn't have the mounts for the uh, the older grills, but uh, it seems like everything is there um, As far as the uh, bumper installation goes to uh, in order to be able to install the winch I need to cut this uh, Plastic piece here uh, I'm probably gonna use the uh, a Dremel or the uh, multi-tool or something just uh, cut it right here This one over here as well and this one I think that will give me enough clearance for the uh, winch. I have the uh, air sensor. Uh, the winch comes with a relocation bracket, but I don't think that bracket will necessarily work with this. But uh, anyways, I can just uh, figure out a way to mount it here, as long as it has uh, just clear airflow, it should be able to be fine. So. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get the tool, I'm gonna cut this, test fit the bumper again. bumper again um, this time I have the grill on and the winch in there uh, but since like the bumper is kind of hitting the grill a little bit right there is not it's not uh, fully mounted or fully bolted on so in order to uh, align the bumper where it has to go it's hitting the grill so slightly here so I'm probably gonna have to notch that somehow that's gonna be covered with the uh, filler piece so I don't think it's that big of a deal other than that seems to fit it's happening the same thing on this side just like that anyways at least the bumper I mean the um, winch fits now that's good and uh, yeah I just gotta wait I, I have the uh, filler pieces uh, already at the body shop being painted 
those will come sometime today or tomorrow and I should be able to put it all back together for now I'm just gonna spool the uh, the winch line and uh, wire all the uh, lights I'm gonna put two Baja design lights on these pockets and uh, I don't think I'll it has the uh, the option for a 30 inch light bar here but I don't think I'll put a light bar there just yet so yeah I'm just gonna do that for now and wait for the uh, filler pieces okay I have the bumper back inside now uh, it does come with these brackets over here um, they kind of like go in here and uh, that's what frames around the uh, the fog lights uh, they come with little screws and they just attach there on the inside and then uh, it also comes with a bracket to actually hold the uh, fog light I was, I was gonna put the uh, Baja designs I have but uh, instead I decided to go with this ones I have them they have been sitting in my garage for a long time I don't even remember for how long never got around to install them on anything don't know the brand or or where they came from but they seem to fit in there pretty good and I'll probably use the Baja designs for the uh, ditch lights on top of the hood so yeah very simple this bracket goes on first and then this other one holds the light and it has the adjustments you can go up and down in and out as uh, you probably need it so install the lights I have to spool the uh, line on the winch I already have the fur lid installed and uh, that's probably gonna be it um, I'll have to wait for the filler pieces to arrive the other thing I haven't mentioned on this video yet is I have these uh, ditch light brackets also from CBI I'm gonna throw these on the hood and uh, I have the uh, Baja Designs Squadron Sport ditch lights uh, to go with the uh, with the brackets should be a pretty simple installation all I gotta do is uh, remove a couple bolts that hold the hood put this on and then tighten the bolts back on and as far as wiring this one's uh, will be hooked up to my uh, gang panel that I already have installed on the hood we'll go to this gang panel and uh, and I have the controller inside the cap already, so pretty easy. Let's get let's get going and tackle that. Finally got the truck back together, check it out. 